there was some news about King Charles' coronation and the pledge of the people to pledge allegiance to the king. And this came out 11 hours ago, and I just wanted to bring this forward. I thought it was very interesting. King Charles does not want abhorrent pledge of allegiance during coronation, friend reveals. Charles' closest friend says Archbishop's call for pledge of allegiance was ill-advised. A friend of King Charles suggested the new monarch would be horrified by the public pledging allegiance to him. Broadcaster Jonathan Dimbley, a close friend of the king, said the idea was ill-advised and not something the mar monarch would have wanted. I can't think of anything he would find more abhorrent, Mr. Dimbley told the Today program. He's never wanted to be revered. He's never wanted anyone to pay homage to him, except in mock terms as a joke. He added, he wants, I think, to feel the people will share in the event. I don't quite know how this might have happened. Lambeth Palace announced the new homage of the people was introduced to allow, quote, a chorus of millions of voices to be enabled for the first time in history to participate in this solemn and joyful moment. The Archbishop will call upon all persons of goodwill in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of all the other realms and territories to make their homage in heart and voice to their undoubted king, defender of all. Mr. Dimbley said, it seems the initiative has come from the archbishop, who is strongly evangelical. I think it was well-intentioned, but rather ill-advised, he said. The invitation has been branded an offensive and tone-deaf gesture that holds the people in contempt by the campaign group Republic. This pledge would be followed by a fanfare. The order of service will read, and it repeats the same thing here. The homage of the people will replace the traditional homage of peers, during which a long line of hereditary peers used to kneel and make a pledge to the monarch in person. The purpose of both oaths remains the same. However, to represent the pledge taker's dedication to the monarch as the monarch is crowned. A spokesman for Lambeth Palace, the Archbishop's office said, the homage of the people is particularly exciting because that's brand new. That's something that we can share in because of technological advances. So not just the people in the Abbey, but people who are online, on television, who are listening and who are gathered in parks, at big screens and churches. Our hope is at that point when the Archbishop invites people to join in, that people, wherever they are, if they're watching at home on their own, watching the telly, will say it out loud. This sense of a great cry around the nation and around the world of support for the king. So I think that they're hoping that people worldwide will acknowledge that he is the rightful, undoubtful king, undoubted king, that's coronated upon that throne because they want to put a king as the leader of the entire world, or at least a quarter of it, as some say. So this is very interesting news. And even though they said that he wouldn't want this, they're pretty much asking and will ask everyone all over the world that's watching to pay homage to this king and to pledge allegiance to him as the true king upon the throne, the monarch, and to be his faithful subject. Now, I told you about this, that when Israel accepts him as king, as the anointed one, then the people will have no say when the democracy turns into a monarchy and the king approves laws and bills of his own that he wants enforced. And the people won't have any say as his subjects and 
he can implement any laws that he wants, including what is on his invitation that pays uh, tribute to the vegetation god, the oak tree of the English royal oak that I told you all about, and its dedication to the green agenda, the climate change agenda, and everything that comes along with that. So this allegiance to the king is how the mark of the beast, which is a king, can go upon the people. He can demand that people take this mark to be showing that they are his lawful subjects. It's very easy how it falls into place. It doesn't have to be contrived or made up. You don't have to grab somebody over here and try to make them into something. He just lines it up very easily with his hereditary qualifications. Everything I've talked about in all of my King Charles III videos. So I just wanted to tell you this, that they are basically hoping that everybody around the world that's watching will say this Pledge of Allegiance to the King. My King is Jesus. Tonight is the Blood Moon Lunar Eclipse. Tonight is the Eve of the Coronation of King Charles III. Tonight is the second Passover, which is one night. And remember, the Lord revealed to me that Passover night is the night of watching for the redemption of the Lord to come down and bring salvation, which is Yeshua. So will he come down and get us? Time will tell. Keep watching. Be looking and watching this evening and praying and be ready to meet the king in case this is the night. I don't know that it is, but it's interesting that all of this lines up. I believe also that this lunar eclipse is in Scorpio and Taurus the bull. And also they are expecting meteor showers this evening. So it's very interesting how this is all lining up. So that's all I had to tell you for now. Just a quick uh bit of information for you. Like, subscribe, and share. My donation is, uh, my donation page is paypal.me slash, this way, K-K-R-O-C-O-C-O. -O -O. Thank you so much. I uh, will talk to you later. Keep me in your prayers. I'm hoping to get my car back from the mechanic again. Shalom for now. Good night.